is up everyone now today I'm going to be showing you something really really cool now this is on um, the phone of course now before I start this of course this is only on Android if you want this on iOS I'm very sorry but you cannot but today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make Minecraft Pocket Edition look like like this like PC and it's actually really easy so you just gotta follow the steps and if you miss something or got confused try and look at it again or where you got confused or whatever and I'll be teaching you now you can see here that I do have shaders with this but I'm not gonna be showing you how to add shaders if you want that then let's go and try and hit uh, 10 likes and I will do a shader how to how to get shaders video and remember that's only for Android as well for the iOS users I'm very sorry so let's begin also when I said PC now of course it looks like PC because um, the hunger bars and the heart and everything the heart bars and everything are all at the bottom but not just that if you want you can also make it fully look like PC as you can see we have the legit UI for it we ha it's like it's pretty cool um I would like it anyway we have like the crafting here it's really cool and it's really easy there's not even like a second download thing you need to download it's just one application you need so let's get right into it so what do we need first anyway what do we need first so before we start anyway remember this guys is that I would have to Actually, to be honest, if Minecraft works um, on your phone, then, you know, the, this mod should work. So, first thing you need to know is, block launcher is what you need. Now, you may think, wait, unblock, but like, wait, we need block launcher, it's in the Play Store, right? Well, sadly not, that block launcher is for an older version. So, if you have a different version, for example, 15.9, I would go for 15.9, or any version you have that at least... You know, just just go for 15.9 um, version. It's a lot easier, and it, pretty much every server should work because this is the mo the newest version. If there is a newer version for this, then you might as well, you know, get you know get that version. So what do we do? Go to the internet browser, okay, and search up the version you have. Now I would go for 15. Point whatever, um, not 14.0 because it might be a lot more difficult. So we're gonna try and say stay on the same level of where we are for now for this for at this time anyway. Block launcher 15.9 APK free is what you want to search up. You cannot download the block launcher on Play Store as I said or these ones because one the one block launcher pro costs and the free one is really bad. So go down here as I said put APK free and try and go for this one for example. It should have a lot of downloads for like, let's see, 15.9, 15.7, or 15.0. It should be down around here, and you can download it. If it doesn't work, then please tell me, or if there's a problem, please tell me as well. So anyway, once you got that, you go and open Block Launcher, as you can see here. And here it's what it should look like, alright? Remember this now, it has to be, the Block Launcher version for Minecraft has to be, has to be the exact same Minecraft version. Um for the block launcher so if okay I'll give you examples so if Minecraft Pocket Edition if your Minecraft Pocket Edition version was 15.4 uh, and to know the version it's at the bottom right and the block launcher version for Minecraft was 15.9 for example it won't work so get the same version so the second thing is you could use a controller it'll make it feel like Xbox Edition but a lot better now we're gonna just stay on the touch screen for now uh, but remember, it'll it won't be as good. But if you want a Bluetooth controller, I would recommend going on Amazon and search up Bluetooth controller, for example, and um, it'll be a lot cooler. Trust me, and it's Bluetooth, so it shouldn't be hard to set up. So we press play. Now, one thing is you can already see it says Windows 10 Edition Beta, but it might not show that for you. So you want to press the wrench bar that should be like around at the top. It doesn't show for me because I put a setting already. You go to Launcher Options, uh, Restart Required, and there should be Texture Pack. Now, as I said, this is for the shaders, but I'm not going to be showing you this for now. So we go to Safe Mode anyway. Um, we see Safe Mode, Manage Patches, Manage Add-ons. I would turn on Add-ons just in case 
Now with the real deal though, is if you want to hide the patch manager button, which is the wrench button, you turn on this button here. And that should be that then. And if you want to make it look like, f you know, fully PC, you want to turn on um, desktop, d desktop, I mean desktop, and it's right here on and off. You put on and you go back. So now it should just look like this. So we wait for it now. This should show up. This could show up, I guess, but you can ignore it if you want and it should work. So we're, we're going to play. We're just going to play. And it should play like this. And... As you can see, we go here, and we already have the buttons, and it should properly work anyway. As you can see, you just tap on it, and you can bring it at the side, and blah, blah, blah. But it would be really better if you have a controller, as I recommended, to just go and press Y, and you can just, you know, do this a lot easier. And it's the luck. It's, it's just really cool, and everything is here still. It's just that... You know, this, this we here, it's pretty hot, you know? So hopefully this worked out well, and it, it is pretty nice. Of course, I'm using shaders, though, so if you want shaders, as I said, press, press that like button, and hopefully we will hit 10 likes, and I will show you how to get shaders on Pocket Edition 15.9 anyway, as I'm using. So see y'all later. Hopefully this helped you out. Sorry if there was a bit of stuttering, I know there was, but um, that's because um, this is not scripted, okay? But I'll see you all later, and thank you for watching this, and goodbye. Six minutes long, so it shouldn't be hard to, to do, and I'll see you all later.